kindergarten is the first year that children come to school. And what a lot of people don't realize is that in kindergarten we are teaching a lot more than our alphabet and our counting and our basic skills. They are learning those basic skills. They're learning the precursors to reading. They're learning the precursors to writing. They're learning the numbers that they're going to need so they can do higher level math. But they also come in here, a lot of them have never left home. A lot of them haven't associated with other children, so they're learning a lot of social skills. They're learning a lot of language skills. We also try to extend the curriculum as much as we can. So when the children are ready, we push them as far as they're able to go. So it, technically the kindergarten curriculum says that we need to teach them their alphabet, they need to know their numbers to 10, but when children are ready for it, we push them. We have a couple children that are now already reading at grade one reading level. They can write several sentences. That's technically above kindergarten level, but if they're ready for it, we don't stop them from going there. And if they're not ready for it, we give them support in those skills that they need so that they have the foundation they need. Well, I've tried to design my classroom in a very child-centered way. The calendar behind me, we use that every day to help them with their numbers and their days of the week and all of that, and it's interactive so they have jobs that they can do. And on the walls I have things like an alphabet that they've created, so then they take ownership of that. So I've tried to make it their space as much as my space because I feel that that's very important that they feel comfortable here since they spend about six to eight hours a day here. We talk a lot our rules, one of them is about respecting ourselves, respecting others and respecting our school and we spend a lot of time on talking about what that it means and what that looks like because it's very important that they do know how to be together. I'm also a very strong supporter of helping children to gain independence. A lot of them come in especially at four or five years old, their parents have done everything for them. So they don't know how to zip their jacket, they don't know how to put on their own shoes, they don't know how to do basic things without an adult helping them. And so I work a lot with showing them how you can do these things yourself and building that independence which also builds their confidence, which then leads to confidence in their academics.